July 3rd, 2021, and we're here with live sewing chat. And uh, we're going to wait for people to get in. I'm about a minute early today and also pull you all up on my phone. All right, so I'll just sit that there, give people a couple of minutes to come in. Uh, just want to say a few things before we get started, and I'll probably repeat them throughout this video. Uh, we Number one, we have fireworks that's been going on all day in my neighborhood. So you're going to hear a lot of that tonight. <laughs> and also, uh, number two, I'm not feeling the greatest, so I'm hoping that I can last for the two-hour sewing chat. Uh, we'll see how long I can last for tonight. So I just want to put those out there first, just in case I have to abruptly end the live. <clears throat> so we're just waiting for more people to come in. Uh, project today is going to be a patriotic quilt since it's fitting with all the fireworks that's going on. And then also I will Oh, I, I got some pieces cut that I can work on that GE project too as well if I can't go any further here because I don't have all of my pieces cut. I just got uh, some pieces that I had in a bag I, while I've been purging. I almost gave this patriotic bag away to somebody as a gift, but then decided maybe I'll go ahead and make a quilt and donate it to somebody that's been in the military or something. So... That's what I'm gonna. I'm working on. It's just one of those things that are in containers and stuff. This one just happened to be in a bag. I never even put it in a container, but I just decided that maybe it would be fitting to work on this tonight. I have not uh, worked on trying to find fabrics for the borders of either of my two quilt tops, the Charlotte Sometimes, and also the quilt kits that I gave out. I still need to develop or figure out border fabrics for those. Not develop, but figure out. <laughs> border fabrics. I was going to say uh, develop a border idea, but I think they're just going to be plain borders in the end, whatever I do. So that's about it. Let me read and see who's here tonight. Mm. Have Darcy was in here, Savaili. She says, hi, Tia and all quilters. Can't be here tonight. My earbuds aren't working. Remember to give Tia a thumbs up. I already did. Have a good night and a wonderful 4th of July. Regina C. is here. Hi, Regina. She says, also, you, Darcy, have a great fourth. Betsy uh, Lightens here says, hello and happy 4th of July weekend. I am, I'm out in, I'm out at Innsbrooks for their fireworks that starts at 915. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'll be here a bit, then gone till they're all over. Hope you have some great sewing. So that was nice of you, Betsy. Vivian Cavi is here saying hi, T and everyone. Jackie K says hi, T and all. Happy 4th of July to all the American friends. Love Canada. I think you had Canada Day on the 1st, so happy Canada Day to you, Jackie. Kim Burr says hi, T and Quilty family. And I'm going to have to go out and come back in because my chat's not updating. <laughs> Lots of comments. Okay. Mario says, hello, T and T Quilters. Lovely to be here. c -Rex says, hey, Miss T and Quilters. And Carr says, hello, T and fellow Quilters. Everyone here in Oklahoma, Oklahoma are anxiously waiting for fireworks to start. <laughs> Joyce Baker says, hi, T. Sorry you aren't feeling well. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, Elaine says, take good care of you, T. I've been in bed for like the last three days. <laughs> I haven't done much. <laughs> um, I tried to get out and do some stuff. It lasts about an hour and then I'm back in bed. So a lot of people are saying, take care of yourself, Elaine. Thank you. 
Uh, Lynette Williams says, hey, everyone. Hi, Miss T. <laughs> Bonita Nan saying, hello, everyone. Nancy Gus says, hi, T and T quilters. Sheila Willis says, good evening, everyone, and T. Cam says, T, sorry you aren't feeling well. Hope you feel better soon. Darlene Crosby says, hello, T, and quilting friends. Quilt Gal says, hi, T, and everyone from Rainy, Maryland. Fireworks going off all around my area, but I can't see them. <laughs> Kevin the Quilter is here, says evening to all T Quilters, especially to the woman who swept every category at the Queen of Scraps pageant. <laughs> He's so crazy. <laughs> Reigning Queen of Scraps, Miss T. <laughs> Joyce Baker says lots of fireworks here in Connecticut. Poor little puppy is very unhappy. <laughs> A lot of people saying hi to each other. Thanks, Mario. Telling people to thumbs up, please. Janet Miller says good evening, T, and all friendly quilters. Cynthia Shades here saying good evening to all. Hope all will enjoy the weekend. And Rhonda Barlow says, hey, everybody in T. Tiffany's Quilting Life here says, hi, T and everyone. Happy 4th of July to all. Same to you and Scott, Tiffany. Uh, Kim says, hello to all joining us. Remember to thumbs up, everyone. Sharon Lewis says, hi, T and quilters. Hand sewing yo-yos together tonight by hand. Katrina is here, says hello, Miss T and Quilting Friends. And Tiffany says she's working on the long arm, so we'll be listening and checking in every few minutes. Judy Judy is here, says hi, T and everyone. Helena Marie Carter says hello, T and all T quilters. My dog is doing so much better now. That's awesome news. <laughs> and Kim says fireworks are loud here. June says hi, T and everyone. Sorry you aren't feeling good. Rest. A lot, yes. <laughs> Mario says, I got my second Moderna shot. I had a bit of pain in left arm, felt tired for two days, but now all is good, yes. Don Cunningham is here saying hello to you and everyone. And so I think that's it for now. So welcome everybody to the live chat. Trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> I thought I saw something come up on this screen, but I didn't see it come up over here. So I'm trying to make sure my comments are keeping up. I see high cam. So it's I'm getting it early over here, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, basically what I have here is some squares that I'm going to end up turning into rectangles. But they were just uh, eyeball squares in a bag some of them were like two inches two and a half I mean two and a half inches to three inches and so they're not quite all the same size all of them and so what I'm going to do is just sew them together on their longest side and then I'm just going to cut them into an, a two and a half inch strip when I'm done so that's kind of my plan I'm also going to be making about 10 of these little friendship stars in the patriotic fabrics and then I just sold a couple of these just to get started into pairs, just so I could, um, I was using these as chain piecing before. So, yeah. So that's why I have a few of them here already sold, but basically I'm gonna just sew these and I don't know if I'm even gonna have enough for an entire quilt yet. I'm just sewing, I haven't done any counting. <laughs> Angela Stringer is here. Saying good evening, T folk. Hello, Angela. Cheryl Bean came in also says good evening, T and everyone. Welcome, Cheryl. Scott yelled over my long arm noise to say hi, T, and happy 4th of July, everyone. He can't hear this video. I have the volume all the way. He can hear the video. He, <laughs> I have this volume all the way up. That's funny. Yeah, when you're long arm and you, have, and you want to hear television or radio, you do have to have it up really loud. <laughs> Kim Burris is also saying happy uh, 4th of July to everyone. Teresa McCormick came in, says good evening to all. So yeah. So basically, what I'm doing is I've got all of my, um, these are my singles. And I thought I had a stack that had like ones that had, like I only got one of these fabrics. And so what I'm doing is I'm mixing them up with the ones that I have a lot of. So I'm kind of mixing up the whole batch. 
but I thought that I had some that had like two or three. So these are twos. This must be this must be it for the threes. I think I just put it, I put the threes, I should have put the twos down. I was trying to separate the pile so I know when I had just one of them and then had two or three of them. So that's what we're working on today. It's gonna be like very mindless sewing. I haven't cut all of these pieces yet. I think I got some of the pieces cut for, I've sewn half square triangles for five of these total, including this. So I got four more for the half square triangles made. And uh, I have to cut the other square. So what I thought was I'll just do the easy part, especially doing sewing chat. It's just sewing these pieces together. So I'll just be picking up random pieces here and sewing together. I don't have to do a lot of thinking about that. <laughs> Lietta Bryant came in, says hi T and all. Don says, I'm working on a Thimble Blossom Stars and Stripes 2 quilt doing scrappy material. Sue is here. Hi, Sue. <laughs> she says, hello, T and fellow quilters. Off tomorrow so I can hopefully stay to the end. Woohoo, such a wild life. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got tomorrow off. So I'm just going to be sewing these things together. No particular order, just trying to mix them up really good. So that's why I have my stack of one so that my singers are not all attached to the same fabric. That's why I kind of sorted them a little bit by how many. But my stacks on the, my big stacks down here, I've got like shorter amounts up here. And when it gets to down here, it don't matter. I, I just put, if I had 10 or more <laughs> down here. Kim says she's been working on projects half done this week. Managed to get one finished and another in the works. That's pretty cool. I don't know which one that one is. Yep. So just basically using um, most of these with the singles. Just so one fabric isn't the one that's most constant with the single pieces. <laughs> My way of trying to mix them up really good. And I'm also having um, sinus issues as well. So <laughs> I just took medicine. I uh, take it before I go to bed most times. So I took it early this time instead of waiting. So also, don't forget to tell me what you're working on. I know some of you all have already told me, but don't forget to tell me what you're working on in the chat box. Uh, and Nancy says that she wants to make a patriotic Dresden. That's cool. Uh, uh I put this to the fabric. Oh, it's the right fabric. <laughs> it's just a solid to a solid. Um. <laughs> Robin Boyd just came in. Hi, Robin. She says putting a log. No, she says hello, everyone. <laughs> June Hansen is putting a log cabin together. Now that's cool. That's another one of my favorite quilts. Or like the log cabin, which is why I didn't mind doing so many pineapple quilts. I still got to put um, the Guileen Fitzgerald one. I still got to put that one together, I think. I don't remember which one's the last one I used. I think I got it right. <laughs> I'm trying to read comments and so <laughs> it's going to be a long night, right? <laughs> This is on the bottom. It will go like that. <laughs> Trying to put my shorter pieces when my pieces aren't the same size at the bottom since I'm going to trim them anyway. Um, uh, 
Anita says, I'm working on marinating the meats for tomorrow's cookout. Well, I'm glad I don't have to do cooking. I just need to make a, a salad. So that's what I'll be working on tomorrow. Don says, T, I really enjoyed the finished quilts you showed last week. Everyone did a great job on them. Yes, beautiful work and lots of different patterns too. Um, Joyce Baker says, I'm putting borders on two quilt tops, then send them to my sister to long on them. That's awesome. Nancy's working on folding the laundry. <laughs> That's no fun. Um, Kim says, the project's half done. In the works is a patriotic centerpiece with strings sewn to tumbler foundations. That's pretty cool. Mario picked out fabric for his New York beauty. Woohoo! So he's ready and <laughs> getting motivated. Um, we'll have pattern enlarged on Monday. Awesome. Making plans. Guess what? I know I'm working on Miss T. Yeah, he's working on a project. He don't, <laughs> he's bored. <laughs> you shouldn't be bored at this point, Kevin. Sheila says she the blanket is done and I am going to take it in the plane with me. Hope I don't encounter any crazy on the flight. <laughs> yep. What is the smallest size quilt a long arm will accept? A long armor will uh will quilt your placemat if you want them to. The prop the thing with a long armor is that we have a minimum amount that we charge. And mine's is $55. So no matter what size your, your piece is, if it normally we charge by inches per, we, we charge stitches, no, the length, the inches of your quilt. So we multiply length times width, and then we multiply that by some variable to get our fee. If the fee is less than $55, say it's $42, then I still charge you $55 for your quilt. So most, that's what you've got to ask is, what is your minimum charge? But they will accept anything. Jackie is making a few quilted wine bottle holders to have on hand. I'm all out. Needed a change of pace, yes. Angela's making peach cobbler for our small gathering. Ella Odom's here, hi Ella. She says, good evening, Miss T and quilters. Uh, Helena says, need to put some borders on Dallas Cowboys. Take five, yes, <laughs> that's nice. Probably uh, nice in the uh, big prints in that pattern. June says, I'm tired. I went out for supper for the time, but did okay resting be um, before bed. Yep. I'm going to be right back in there. <laughs> Lizette Zayas, hi to you. She says, hello, T and friend. She's waving at you guys. Diane 57's here, says, hi, T and quilting friends. And, and Tiffany talking about, I'm obviously working on the long arm. Yep, it's a client's quilt. I got myself behind, so I'm doing this to get started on catching up. Um, let's see. Mario, that sounds wonderful. I think New York Beauty is a great idea and so beautiful. And Lizette says she's working on Edita Star's mystery quilt. Oh, okay, the other one. I haven't been following her since I did the last one, so I don't know what she's quite up to right now. Uh, Francis Jackson is here saying hi T and everyone. I'm working on New York Beauty Sampler Quilt with 54 different blocks started. <laughs> Good luck on that. Robin says T, what are you working on? Just a patriotic quilt, just sewing some random red um, squares together and these are going to be my red rows and then I'll probably just use because I don't have a whole lot of light fabrics in this bag that was in the squares. So I probably just use a white strip in between these pieced um, rows that I'm going to be sewing tonight, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, and then um, those are going to be my stripes. And then this is my star, just making a friendship star. And I'm, I'm thinking about donating this as a, a quilt of valor to somebody somebody in particular sounds like a war zone in South County over here too they all day long that's why I, that's why I titled my 
um, live chat, lots of fireworks. All day long we've had fireworks and we've had big booms all day. So it didn't, wasn't just that in dark. So you're going to be hearing what's sounding like cannons and everything over here. So I just didn't want to, um, scare anybody, but that's what it is. And they've been crazy all day. John Hickman is here, says I'm a little late. Good evening, my friends. I got a box full of quilt scraps at a yard sale today for $3. I'm happy about that. Yes, enjoy them. I'm sure it's gonna be some fun surprises in there. And Robin's saying very nice. Barbara Polk's here saying hi, everyone. Sheila says, making a honey bun cake for dinner tomorrow. Not really cooking time yet, I guess. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna sew some more of these. Just trying to read some of these comments. And June saying they terrible where she is. Talking about is it midnight yet? It don't. They do what they want when they want. <laughs> Time doesn't matter. So then I'll just go back to the bottom because I think I've gone through my top row. I don't have that many of. <laughs> go back to the bottom. So, and I don't even care if these rows are the same size. Like I'm going to be trimming them to the same width anyway. So it doesn't matter if these squares line up one after each other or not. It doesn't matter at all. So now this is the stack that has two pieces in them so i need to reverse this stack okay let's see where did i stop <laughs> mm -mm. sue says i was able to take the dogs out before it started yep so I'll probably go to my, my sister's having a little small gathering tomorrow. So, but, and then they're going to turn into a large gathering because they're going to all be outside with the fireworks. But I'll come home before they start doing that. I just don't stick around much for the fireworks. Um, I try to get home so I'm not stuck out in it because once they start, it seems like they never stop especially the night display. My eye is just weeping. And my voice sounds a little funny too. <laughs> so. And I don't I think I did open up a pack of Kleenex in here once. <sighs> uh, Diane says it's been suspiciously quiet where she is tonight. <laughs> All the rain has put a damper on our holiday. Nancy says fireworks going off here for two weeks in Kentucky, but really crazy tonight. Teresa says, I got partially moved, should be unpacking, but every joint is barking at me. Yes, you just need to take your time. You can't, you know, rush through everything like that. So, sure you take your time. Deanna J is here saying, hi, T and Quilters, working on a quilt of valor, trying to drown out the firework explosions yep <laughs> i got them in the front and the back okay i've been in the bed which is uh toward the front of the house area and then i come back here and it's like now they're starting up so i've had i've heard just a little bit during the day in the back but not a whole lot but they're at it now 
It's just, it is what it is. <laughs> it's nothing you can do about it. So I'm just basically sewing squares for people that are coming in. I'm just sewing squares together that I'm going to end up using as rows for a patriotic quilt. It's going to be the red rows. And then I'm going to just cut a fabric for the white stripes later. So just sewing random pieces together here. Just trying to mix up my fabrics. Okay. That's one of the big cannon sounding fireworks. And I'm sure my backyard's going to be having all kinds of crap in it tomorrow. So that's my next, you know, and, and we still got one more, well, Really, we got until September, Labor Day. <laughs> I was finna say, I was about to say we got one more night, but that's not true. Because they just popped the whole month. They started in June. <laughs> so. Uh-oh. <laughs> Katrina says she broke Shari's baby lock last week. Cliff then brought to baby lock dealer an hour away, then spent $500. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. Things happen, though, you know. Can't control everything. So these are the ones that have three in them, and I've only got two sets. So we're getting even better. This one with that one. And this one. Sue so says, I was really hoping the rain would continue through the weekend. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but they just would have popped them on another day because they're not going to let their money go to waste. They still going to pop them, girl. It don't matter. Diane says, not my road, but some of the low-lying areas or parts of Houston are flooded. Oh, my gosh. So it's happening. A little bit's happening again. Angela says, animals everywhere are scared tonight. <laughs> The sun is still sort of up. It's behind clouds here, so it's still light. I am sure it will start being loud tonight, but it's 107 right now, so I doubt anyone will start blowing things up yet. That's from Tiffany. Nancy says, big booms are going off now. Yep. Mario says, we had a quiet Canada day. No fireworks and no outdoor activities. They have discovered buried children and adults in unmarked, unregistered burial sites, over 700 of them. Our flag is at half mast. Now, that's weird to have so many people, so many of them. Wow. Now that's tragic. <laughs> All right. Almost. So now I'm through the ones that I just had a few of. <laughs> so now I'm just going to start with the small, start at the top and 
put those with the ones at the bottom and keep going. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to need them all, so it's only five of these, so we'll start at the bottom. And I can always cut more if I need more of these later as well, because I have no idea how many I'm going to need. I, I have no idea what size this quilt's going to be yet. I figure <laughs> you can always make it bigger with the border, so I'm just making it whatever size <laughs> this these pieces make <laughs> I'm gonna need like 15 rolls of red so I have a feeling I'm gonna be adding more red than getting rid of so I don't think I'm gonna use I don't think I got excessive amounts so Diane says, laughing out loud to you, the stuff in your yard won't be from my dogs. No, it's going to be, I'm talking about fireworks in my yard. <laughs> then when he picked it up, Todd told, he asked Cliff, was the machine dropped at a three to five foot dog? Cliff laughed, um, which time the machine was in two hurricanes and uh, two auto, I'm thinking she's talking about auto accidents or something. And Tiffany is saying, wow, that's crazy to Mario. That's horrible Mario from Sean. Kim says, someone here just off one and sounded like a cannon. Yep. <laughs> yep, I had that during the daytime about three or four times I'm like oh that kind already <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be noisy for the next few nights for sure I guess <laughs> Trying to see which way to put this one. It's all cattywampus could be repressed, but, you know, we don't have time for that. <laughs> we'll press the finished row. feel like this one was actually cut from a bandana instead of fabric. Girl says in Ocean City, Maryland, they are having a light show for fireworks using drones. Curious to see how it goes. The news said a shortage of fireworks, but it doesn't sound like it to me. You got that right. I don't know where that come from. Uh, Diane says, hi, Harbor Mario. Are you okay? Judy Judy says, my dog is terrorized by fireworks. That's what I hate about it. Hmm. Tiffany has given you all the link for new people to join the Facebook group, if you haven't already. Whoops. Okay. I think I pinned it. It don't show on my screen that I pinned it. It told me I did, but, it, you know, finally. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm trying to get down to the bottom. 
yeah, so I can get caught up. <laughs> Auto accident talk. I also asked when was the last time it was serviced. Cliff said he doesn't think it has ever been. Yeah. So if it's never been serviced, 500 isn't bad for a machine that's never been serviced. I'll look up again and the screen will be gone again. <laughs> um, Diane sent something about something with Kathy. I don't know who Kathy is, so. Will be at least two weeks for the machine, I guess, to be ready. <clears throat> Woohoo! Pieces, pieces, pieces. <laughs> Oh, she was saying it's just 500 for the memory board. Okay. <laughs> Trying to make sure I get different fabrics so I don't keep pulling the same one. So let me put them on here now. Because <laughs> I can't remember which pile I put in since I'm reading comments too, so. Let's see. Yeah, most times you take your machine to the shop. You're lucky if you get them back in a month. <laughs> They're just busy. One, two. Go ahead and mix them up now so I don't have to worry about which ones I pull from. <laughs> and my top row is almost gone. I just got one more in the top row. Those That row had, I think, seven or less, six or less. I'm going to need at least, I don't know, minimum 16 of these, probably more. Trying to make a quilt top that's like 48 by 64 before I put a border on it. That's my goal. We'll see what it makes.
John says, I've read where more people are buying industrial straight stitch machines with no computers, partly due to repair costs. Yep. And they don't need as much maintenance, and it's standard maintenance, too. Most places have a minimum they're going to charge you, whether it's computerized or not. Thank you for all your prayers. That's Diane57 for Kathy, I'm assuming. I skipped some comments. Just trying to get to the bottom. I felt like I was drowning in comments at one point. My goodness. My fabric is sticking to itself. It's been in this bag so long. And I almost gave it away. <laughs> But I'm like, no, that'll make somebody a quilt. Go ahead and use it. I'm almost, I don't know. I was thinking in my head, I was thinking if I had got it from somebody. I'm almost, I don't know if Lietta's still here. That's why I love my vintage machines. I can service them myself. Yes. <laughs> Having a hard time focusing on all this small tech. Shari won't trade up this machine because an 18 wheeler rear end of Shari. She ricocheted across the bridge and missed going over the top bridge when machine fell out of belts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don uh, saying, Will you cut your strips with the AccuQuote die or rotary cutter? Um, I don't know. It depends on how straight they are. If they're pretty straight, I'll put them on a. Uh, die cutter otherwise I'll just rotary cut them because I don't want when I fold this I don't want anything to happen <laughs> so I don't want anything to be cut cattywampus so well I'll, I don't know that part yet two My brother just came in, says, hi, sis, and everyone. Been busy in the yard. You got my thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Welcome. <clears throat> All right. My stacks are disappearing fast. <laughs> you think you got lots of something? Oh, I'm putting the same fabric over and over again. That's not what I want. <laughs> That is definitely not what I want. <sighs> Guess I can pull out what I can't see. Pull this all up now since I... <laughs> I'm clearing out some areas. I got a couple of them that I can't see. All right. June says, have run for cover. That one sounded like it was over my house. They are terrible this year. <laughs> I guess I'm getting immune to it. Just sent you a picture of what I finished tonight. That's Kevin. <laughs> Talking about Tada. <laughs> oh wow, he finished the um he finished his um the uh he didn't get a kit. He had his own fabrics that he cut. So Kevin did all of his own cutting and everything. So he 
showing his uh, picture of his completed kit. I don't forgot the name of the pattern, of course, you know. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. He used dots. I'm trying to. He used the dots and a green on one side. Okay. No, it's flipped on the top and bottom. Okay, I get it. If I had it zoomed in. <laughs> Pretty cool. Thank you, Kevin. I hope you share it later in the Facebook group. Very, very nice. Kim Ferris is also reminding people to hit the thumbs up. Everyone share, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notifications. Thank you, Kim. So, yep. Mario says, I reviewed the retreat show and tail video again and again. Beautiful quilts there. Deborah's New York Beauty is exquisite. She's not here tonight. I think um, <laughs> Deborah should be good and tired by now. Her and her daughter uh, worked on a pond. Deborah has a pond in her yard with live goldfish. And so her and her daughter drained the pond today and uh, cleaned it. And so I'm sure she's tired. She says it's an all-day job. So she's not here tonight. So Debbie Huey says hi. And Diane says, I just finished a bunch of friendship stars. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can put that on Facebook, Kevin. Uh, Angela says, had my machine service. Now featuring foot does not work on my machine. So now I'm with stuff that's got a lot of pieces. <laughs> Uh, well, I did move this one up, didn't I? So let's not do this one because it's got quite a few pieces yet. This one's got a lot too. I just think I got lots of pieces now. <laughs> so I probably, when I get toward the end, some of them will be used two and three times, but that'll be okay. I grabbed for one and two and three are coming up. It's got so much static since these were in a bag. Just trying to use it up. Sin Forest came in. She says, hi everyone. I'm in the mountains, so reception might be spotty on my phone. Happy 4th, y'all. Have fun, Sin. Kevin says, there, I just got it. Permission, Mario. Too funny. Sue says, question, please. I'm trying to organize my stash. I have a lot of yardage. I have two and one half and one and a half dies and various other dies, tumblers, etc. How would you cut from each fabric? If you're trying to cut from your stash each of those, then I would just cut pieces that will fit the die board, uh, depending on how much yard that you got of it. So that's what I do when I'm cutting specific dies out. I just cut um, size pieces that will fit over the die board. So if you've got a 
go dye and it has um, three strips on it whatever the magic number is that you have on your go strip die and I just multiply measure to see what I need to put across the entire board and then I cut my strips that size and I do that for every die Lietta says she just finished the blue jean quilt awesome Looking forward to seeing a lot of this um, 2020 and 2021 show and tell whenever we meet back up. I still haven't heard from the church where we meet. Um, they have board meetings, and so we had just missed the board meeting when they opened up Missouri. But at the rate they're going, I just saw on the news that Missouri was number two in COVID cases in the country. So. They may be not opening it up. <laughs> um, people haven't gotten their vaccinations. And they're out not wearing masks. So, because masks are not required. If you've had a vaccination, but, you know, people are in the stores anyway. You don't know who's had one. So, now it's spreading back in Missouri. I think I just need to go outside to sit on my deck and watch these fireworks go up because it sounds like they're right behind my house. So it doesn't sound like it's like across the street. <laughs> sounds like it's right behind my house. All right. Oops. Oh, she says her, she, uh, Angel says she meant her walking foot. Claudette Bettis came in saying hello, everyone. Hi, Claudette. <laughs> Oh, then she was talking about she had got the guy had told her to rip out her center seams to see if that's where the waving was coming from. Eric Oda's here. Hi, Eric. He says good evening to everyone. Vivian Cavia is saying good night. Good night, Vivian. Thank you for coming in. What time is it? We're almost at an hour. I didn't think I would last this long. I got up like 10 o'clock, thought I was doing okay. By 11.15, I was back in bed. <laughs> so, uh, Deborah Holloway says, hello, TNT quilters. All I hear is fireworks. You got that right. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's been like that for a while. Okay, I think my machine just ran out of bobbin thread which was weird i'm gonna make sure because it stopped i think it's saying what it's i saying i think it's true so let me just quit because it's never told me before that it was out and it wasn't <laughs> nothing's catching back there so yeah I, at least i was at the end of a scene that's never happened before I got one of those little cutter things sitting right over there, but I just like my snips better. Isn't that weird? We all are creatures of our own liking. We like particular things, and that's what we do. Every time I use them, I think about Miss Bonita, who sent them to me, because I didn't even know. I had other snips from Fiskars, and I didn't know they even had these until she sent them see if my other ones yeah they're right here the other ones from Fisker 
So Fisker has two types of snips. You can put your finger in this one and snip. I just hold it in my hand. I don't even put my fingers in it. I just hold it and snip. <laughs> and then they have this one too by Ginger. Not Fiskers. These are Gingers, not Fiskers. <laughs> don't let me get it twisted. And they also have the long black ones. And this is what I have been using for years. I got like maybe three or four pair of these. I keep these in my bags that are set up to go. I really love them. But I use this one in my at home. And even when I travel, now that I got this, it's easy for me to just pick this up. So most of my stuff now is already in here. But I like these little snips. So we'll just continue cutting these. And I'll probably just mix these into some container later when I start sewing the pairs into fours. I got a lot. <laughs> it's it's going to seem like a lot and then when I start making rolls it's not going to be enough, watch. I be a, I would be amazed if I have too many. More squares than I thought, huh? I'm trying to get them so you can see them. That's a lot of pairs. <laughs> and I'm on the twos. I haven't even gotten to the singles yet. I'm sure I had about 25 singles at least. I think we're at the singles now. All right, and then these four or five or six or whatever. <laughs> that I had. So these are my pairs so far. Um, we got a check thread. And this is when I normally clean and everything. I cleaned the top before I started and oiled. But I don't really want to do that on a live. <laughs> Okay, there was a big one. And the thread is not out. Still got thread on the bobbin, so I don't know what that was about. Maybe my top thread. I find that if uh, my top thread pulls or something, that it, I never get my top thread is out. It always says it's the bobbin. And in this case, I still got thread on here, so I'm just going to put it back in here. I am going to go ahead and get out a little bit of dirt I see down in the bottom. I had just cleaned the top. And that's why I didn't think my bobbin was out, but you know, check it anyway. Because I don't want to air sew, that's for sure. Just put this back in. Red wasn't out at all. But you gotta check. Okay. 
Eric says, good company can heal some woes. Diane says, I wear my mask. I don't have to worry about makeup. It's all covered. Yep. <laughs> okay, go away. Error message. I don't know why you're up here, but let's see if you are cooperating here. See if it's stitching. Just caught my beginner thread. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what that little fiasco was about, Bernina. Maybe it didn't like my heavy chain or something. <laughs> let's see uh, 160 if I had 10 rows at 16 is 160 and I need 15 rows so another 80 so it's quite a few I'm hoping I have enough I want to put that on the bottom so I want to do it like that had a piece that's got salvage attached Put that on the bottom because I'm going to be trimming the, for sure the bottom off because it's not even. I'm lining up the top. <laughs> Some of these squares are not quite cut the same. Sometimes when you're die cutting and you're stacking fabric, you might like miss the one underneath or any cutting, not just die cutting. Let's see. Janet Mackerel says late to the live tonight. She says, happy 4th of July, quilters. Hi, Janet. Welcome. And Cynthia's reminding everybody to hit the thumbs up. I'm surprised I even got 75 people in here on the night before the 4th. People are watching uh, fireworks, been at uh, events and stuff around their cities and stuff like that. Uh, Lynette says, tried to show my four-year-old grandson the fireworks. He was not interested at all. <laughs> That's good. Don't have to worry about him being a little fire starter. Tiffany's doing a stretch break. Angela, do you have a dial for your presser foot? C-Rex says, T sounds like grief overloaded and stress. Low energy. You got to do something fun. Go fabric shopping and lunch with Kevin. <laughs> I think I got, uh, I think I had, it started with heat exhaustion. And then, like I told you all, I've been like, uh, you know, I reduce salt in my diet, and I normally, I don't even use a lot of salt anyway, and I'm thinking that my electrolytes are off, so I'm working on that. <laughs> but I had two incidents that could be causing the issues that I'm having, so... Kim says she wore her mask. She just feels safer with them. I knew that one was going to be a big one because I heard it on the ground first. <laughs> Sin says it was a long drive. I'm done in. Night, everybody. Happy 4th. Good night, Sin. Uh, Eric saying, what's the project for tonight? I'm just sewing uh, squares together. It's going to be a patriotic quilt that I'm uh, going to use these squares as my red uh, stripes or rows in the quilt. So I'm just sewing them into pairs. I, I got a gazillion of them. <laughs> I've sewn this many pairs. And I'm just trying to reduce the stack here and mix them up really good. So whichever is one of my lowest stacks is what I pull next to mix in with the others. And then I'll get to the end and just have a few that's going to be 
constantly seen with each other, but that'll be okay too. Just trying to mix them up really good. I try to pick up one, I pick up four and five. They so, they're just stuck together. <laughs> One more. Did I put this one on there? Nope. All right. So I didn't think it would take me this long to sew these into pairs. I don't, I didn't know how many squares I even have. I'm just sewing. <laughs> Maybe I'll count the pairs so I can see if I've got enough before I start putting rows together. Don't want to quite wait until the last second to put new fabric in, right? <laughs> I feel like my Allegra D is working because my eye is not running anymore, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Tiffany says she's been on a lot of things today on YouTube. Mario says we went to a small park by the river today. There was a lady sitting there and she was covered by a nice quilt. Now that's nice. That's awesome. And he says I asked her if I could take a picture and she said no. Bad hair day and not very friendly. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> she like, get away from me. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Okay. Wonder how many am I gonna get to the end and found out find out that I sewed two of them together anyway because these are some st sticky little things and it's a lot of these left so we'll put another one of you all right uh c Rex is saying to Eric, but she means Mario. Maybe she was remembering someone she lost who made the quilt. Quilt Girl says, I have a friend whose cousin was vaccinated, and he is now in the hospital with COVID. Too many variables for me. I mask up and hand sanitize. Mostly just stay home. Yeah, I still haven't, like, gone back out into the total world. <laughs> like, I go grocery shopping still, and I do the... um Grocery store, Sam's, gas, post office. That's it for me. I'm still in that bubble. And I keep hand sanitizing in my car. So as soon as I hit back in there, I'm, that's the first thing I grab. That's because we love you, T. <laughs> oh, that is funny. He's talking about that lady, though. <laughs> Sean says, maybe she was in the witness protection plan, Mario. <laughs> Don says, our city canceled fireworks show. I hear neighbors, but it's illegal to shoot here. It's illegal. It's illegal to shoot here too, but you never know it. I, you know, <laughs> I think the cops act like they can't hear on um, days like this. 
I don't think they want to be bothered with it either. Cause I'm, my neighborhood's been going off all day. Nobody's come by. I haven't even seen a police officer doing daily rounds, okay? <laughs> yeah, they normally come up and down the street a couple times the day, you know, in the day just, you know, doing their regular drive-throughs just to let people know they're here. Not today. <laughs> they act like they can't hear, so. They don't want to be bothered with it either. So I fully understand. As soon as you leave, they're going to go right back to doing what, they, what they're doing. So, And I don't know what the, I don't know if there is a penalty or anything like that anyway. So say it's illegal, but you don't know if you just pay a fine or something. I don't know. Dolores Feltz came in, says, hi, TNT Quilter. Sorry to be late. Welcome to the chat, Dolores. Kevin says, if I didn't know it was the 4th of July, I would think I needed to head to a bunker in the middle of a war zone. Yep. <laughs> yep. And the city used to didn't have, like, the big cannon type stuff. It would be reserved more for our county areas, like, well, our rural areas, not necessarily the city, but the city and county. I'm talking about rural. Um, but not anymore. The stuff they popping out back, I think I should go outside and watch the free fireworks show. <laughs> Let's see, how many more stacks do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Just five more stacks. <laughs> so I'm getting through them now. Yes. Next Zoom is... Um, July 11th. People were asking last week. I kind of mentioned um, Tuesday, Eric, that if, you know, if they're not going to show up, we might want to cancel it for a while instead of wasting your time on the Sunday Zooms. We, had, we haven't even had nine people the last two or three times, so. Everybody's sitting on one page. We don't even have to swipe. <laughs> we need more people. Drink some Pedialyte tea. It works good for adults, too. <clears throat> I have to get that at my next store run. So They was telling me to uh, drink like Gatorade, and I won't drink Gatorade because it's uh, too much caffeine. I don't drink anything with caffeine in it, so... I haven't had caffeine probably in about 20 to 25 years and definitely don't want to start it now. I'd have a headache so bad it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> Getting low here. Kevin, that is absolutely stunning. They're talking about his post in the Facebook group, I guess. <laughs> he put it over there. I'm planning on taking Miss T out for a few days of fabric shopping. Yahoo, yep. It's coming up soon. Uh, I'm waiting for video to upload. That's Eric. Um, okay, gave up quilting for the night. My body only allows me for an hour at a time lately. 
on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. However that song goes. That's Eric. Yep. And we're going to be on the road for real this time. <laughs> Rhonda says, T, are you drinking enough H2O? Yes, ma'am. I drink like three or four of these a day. And this, I, this right here I run through. It's over when I do three or four. It's over 64 ounces. It's way over 64 ounces. So it's not that. And I've been, I know I'm getting enough water because... I have some other, it's stuff that you all don't know. I'm not telling you everything, but <laughs> it's some stuff that I've been doing that I think um, that wasn't good for somebody my age trying to help other people. You know, I had to like say, I can't do that until you fix my uh, circumstances. So I'm putting my foot down, <laughs> but I am drinking enough water. I just, I mean, I'm having some other issues with um, stuff, so I'm working on that. And I just, um, you know, it'll get taken care of, or I just won't help people. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, last week uh, at a cookout, they sent the email today canceling kids parade because child had COVID. So be careful. No tests, no masks, no vaccines, no full of COVID. Uh, Norma Ozia is here. She says, um, good evening, quilt friends. Hello, Norma. Welcome. I was at the airport going through security check. No social distancing. I did a pretend sneeze. And boy, people moved away fast. Got that right. <laughs> That's how you back them up. Jackie says, don't leave your hand sanitizer in the car. The heat will destroy the effectiveness. Keep in purse or pocket. I'm mostly just running in for like quick little trips into the post office and back. I think I'm okay. But I do have, I keep one in the car, one in my purse. Um, it's legal in part of Houston I live in. They started June 30th. Um, just getting in from Six Flags Fireworks. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to Six Flags since, well, I, I know I went as an adult because I took my, uh, my kids. But, and I would not only take my daughter, my stepdaughter, I would take everybody in my family. We have, just everybody have carloads of folks going. So I would be coordinating drivers and stuff like that. But. I haven't been to Six Flags in a long time. The last time I went, I used to ride everything. And anything that spun in a circle made me sick. And then I wasn't having a great time. So I haven't been back since then. But I, I used to love amusement rides. I couldn't ride carnival rides because they weren't set in the ground. They would make me sick. But when Six Flags rides started making me sick, those uh, spinners... I was like, nope, not going to do it. Make sure I got room here in the seam. That one felt funny, but it was fine. <laughs> um, since I've basically been in bed the whole, since Tuesday, since Wednesday, I um I haven't done anything with quilting. I tried to clean up my long arm area. That didn't work. <laughs> and so I I do have the backing for one of the quilts, for one of the t-shirt quilts on the frame. So we'll just put that in the pile that's going back in the bag. So I do have the backing loaded. I have the batting cut for all three quilts. And I only pressed one backing because I couldn't I couldn't press all three of those backing. So I only just loaded one. I wanted to load all three of them at one time. But at least having something loaded is better than nothing. So, so 
so I'll get up in the morning. I want to vacuum the area around my long arm. Uh, even though you may not be able to see threads, when you put a quilt batting on the floor, <laughs> yeah, you start to see all the threads then. It's like we don't want threads all in the batting, so I'm going to make sure I vacuum all around, clean the rails and everything like that. So I may be doing it in 15-minute increments, but that's my job tomorrow, and then I'll get that quilt basted, hopefully, before I go to my sister's house for a little bit, because I'm coming back home, because I'm not going to be out while they shooting all of that stuff. So. so we're on our last stacks here. Let's see, this is one, two, three. That's 25. <laughs> That'll be six. <laughs> Up here, eight, nine, ten. Or another twenty-five. <laughs> Sean saying good night, everyone. Good night. Um, long time ago, cause I'm like way behind. <laughs> Kim's talking to Eric, so I'm gonna skip some of this. Mario's left as well. <laughs> I'm so far behind. Hubby left a bottle on dashboard. Sun melted the bottle and the sanitizer made the dashboard bubble up. Wow. Nancy says, I saw on a police report that hand sanitizer left in the car had started a fire. And I've heard that, but I've had hand sanitizer in my car for years and never had that problem. So they must have big bottles. I have in my car, I have the little personal bottle that you can hook onto a keychain. It's not like a whole lot of hand sanitizer. Um, I have heard that. And Tiffany saying it's pajama time. Uh, Katrina, did you say Missouri was number one in COVID cases? Is that for new cases? That's number two for new cases. Um, June says she put her pajamas on two hours before I came on. Um, um, I usually am too, but I've been tempting to wear normal clothes lately other than pajamas all day. That's Tiffany. Yep. Diane says, T, I can't do roller coasters. My legs went out of the side of the cart. Gosh. <laughs> lost my sandals before I managed to get back up on the seat. Oh my gosh, you was on your way out, girl. Cool girl says, I pump gas with gloves on. A major germ infested item. Yes, I have a gallon of hand sanitizer that he has been offered here. I went to my garden at 930, no sun out, but I still drank a quart of Gatorade. Yep. So yeah. Yeah, I do. I have gloves in my car for pumping gas. <laughs> that is the worst thing you can because they never clean it two three four five six another thing that's very germy is if you have a post office box i clean the outside and the inside area Two. 
Okay, you got 100 pairs so far. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Okay, that's 25, and then what's left here is 1, 5, 6, 7. So, <laughs> I just don't have paper in here, do I? Let me write on the back. Let me write on my beautiful notes I have, you know, <laughs> that I can't read. <laughs> So, if this is 100 pairs, that's 200 pieces plus 50. And I forgot this number. I think it's 13. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> it's 7, so that's 14 pieces. So, 264. I have to use my calendar on my phone. My calculator, not my calendar. 264 divided by 15 equals, so it's like 17.6. So I was looking at 16 per row as a minimum. So that's, I'm in the neighborhood. That's pretty good. So 264. Whoops. Divided by 8 equals. 33, so 32. I need 32 sets of eights. And we'll just start with that, see what that looks like. I guess I can put 16 of them together and see what that measurement is. I'm trying to get like a 48 inch when I add these stars on. And I could add a strip on each side of this too to make it wider before it touches the star so that would work too just gotta plan it that's all <laughs> know my measurements so i can plan in the future we can't keep hand sanitizer in our cars here they blow up <laughs> so do chargers and water bottles and anything we leave in our cars the arizona heat kills the car and everything you leave in it what about the handles going in and coming out? The handles on the door, yeah. If I have hand sanitizer, in my, I'm not gonna get all into the specifications of all of that. <laughs> uh, just know I have hand sanitizer and I have wipes in my car. She's been quiet lately, but I'm going to fire her up because she got six cool tops ready to go. He's talking about his long arm. Uh, Tom Eckery says, you'll have to keep us posted and share pics. That talking to Eric. Phyllis G is in bed watching. Tiffany says, a few years ago, I forgot to take my CDs out and they all bubbled up really bad. So I don't have anything in my car, especially if it's outside the garage. Now, you know, I don't, I haven't never had any of that kind of stuff happen to me in the Missouri heat. We only have like a couple days where we'll be in the hundred and... We don't even do that every year. So I think we're normally okay. And I know the heat index is always higher than what the temperature is, but I haven't had that issue in Missouri. Uh, Katrina says that Ms. T Power went out. Did you say earlier Missouri is number one in COVID cases? If yes, is that new cases? We're number two in the country for new COVID cases. They just announced that like yesterday or the day before I was in bed. So it was a couple of days ago. Within the last couple of days. I can't remember when, it wasn't today though. I don't know if it was Thursday or Friday. Thank you, Kim. She also is clarifying. 
Betsy says hello again. Fireworks are over and back to the house. That's nice. Um, Diane says, sorry to hear about your long arm to Eric. And when it's 110 degrees in Seattle, Washington, you know global warming is a serious problem. Yes. So, yeah. We're... Kevin posted his quilt top. I'll look at that later since I don't want to, like, get out of here. So, get out again anyway. So, I got enough that I can divide my 15 into 17. So, 15 times 17 times 16 is what I want. So I needed at least 240 of these things for that number. And if I make it longer, it's not so bad if I've got to add, because I got enough to do 17.6, so it wouldn't even be every row that I'd have to cut one for. So I'm over half done. So I'll just carry on. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm pressing these now. I guess it'll make it easier later, I guess. I do want to kind of mix these up, so maybe I'll just do them by stack. Just press them a little bit. Um, I think for Missouri, it is the variant from... India COVID, I don't know. They, I think they said it was the, the, the second strain, I thought. But I don't know. Okay, I just sold <laughs> uh, two uh, right side to a wrong side. Put that up there. Um, Diane says, I don't know about global warming when this winter was usually cold. Snowing here hasn't snowed in decades. Yeah, nature is just a weird thing, isn't it? Good night, Kevin. I guess he said good night. I missed it. It's 10.33, got 27 more minutes. <laughs> I'll press a couple of these stacks and then I'll start sewing them to some other stuff. I would like to probably have them all done to mix them up really good, but the one great thing about this quote is I don't have to look at it. <laughs> I can be a little bit more forgiving when I know that I don't have to look at a quilt. Oh my goodness, T, this video editing stuff is no joke. It takes a while. 
I don't know how you get yours done. And lately I have not because it's like I had to make that one of my lower priorities, especially since I was doing lives two times a week when I used to just upload videos two times a week. So I was like, sometimes you got to give and take. Editing is a bear. You Like me, I can have like an hour worth of footage for a 20-minute video. And just think about when I have them for the quilt shows and stuff. It's a lot of footage. And then I got to go in and edit out what I don't want to put in or if people are saying things that's inappropriate in the background. Because when you're in public places, you can't control that either. So, and sometimes I still miss stuff. So, editing is, it takes time and you got to learn how to edit. I do like that I know how to edit, though. It's like another skill set I could use. God forbid if I had to get a job. <laughs> At least I know how to edit. And I just stopped trying to make the video super fancy. And I what I can't figure out is how to do live with two cameras so I can, like, have you all see me here and then I can have a camera somewhere around here so you can see the detail that's and then I'm like you need a switcher and all of that and do I need another person to help do that so that's kind of where I'm stuck on two camera stuff if it's my long arm and me videotaping I can do that but live I have issues with so I just don't do it <laughs> Uh, Connie says, I'm so late, been preparing for tomorrow. What do you mean, T, you don't have to look at a quilt? I like the red and would love to see it. Um, I don't, I'm giving this quilt away. That's what I mean. So if my reds aren't mixed up a lot, she's trying to see some of the reds, but I can't show you this. All I got is two pieces. <laughs> so this is just some of the reds that are in the quilt. Um, and then, you know, when I get it together, it's probably going to be so pretty. I'm not going to want to give it away, but I am. <laughs> I got an idea of what I want to do with it. And if it all works out, that's the, the goal. Um... Well, I'm still working on putting a video together. Uh, Eric, do you have a YouTube channel from Kim? He says he's working on it. <clears throat> see a lot of these are repeats in these 25 stacks I really want to press them all so I think that's what I'm going to do <laughs> I want to mix them up a little better so I have all five stacks done instead of just two it just takes a minute for me to use the wooden iron to press them over and I'm just doing that so that when I go to my steam at the end I don't have 15 seams that need to be pressed. And matter of fact, I never did calculate what the width of that was. I just done the number. <laughs> so if I have 16 times 30, 80, 12, 3. Oh, okay, that'll be fine. Because that when I put 16 of these together, I'll have a 40 inch row plus my block. So this will be 46. So I just need one strip in the middle as a spacer. That'll be 48. I want my top 48 by 64 before I put borders on. So that's great. I'm trying to make a twin size quilt. So that's awesome. That 
that'll work fabulously. Okay, I think I'll put all of this up here and then all of these can go in the last pile. <laughs> Um, finally got fireworks going off. That's Diane. She was, she was over there happy she didn't have any. <laughs> that took a long time though, Diane, for you to get some. The fireworks here are getting quieter finally. Maybe my heart rate will go back to normal. It's a little bit quieter outside, but I just still heard somebody. It's uh, 1040. I think I heard fireworks like at one in the morning last night. That's how long they went. And I I was got to the point where you just start getting used to stuff and you just tune it out. So I really don't know what time they stopped. It's got a lot of fabrics in this, though. A lot of different reds. Our fireworks is slowing down too <laughs> from Nancy. So I'm glad I got to do is make a salad tomorrow. My sister and my mom have done all the cooking. They know I've been busy, so they kind of left me out. They even took care of desserts. They got so many desserts and fruit, and I didn't even have to bring fruit for the salad. So I'm, that's all I got to prepare. So super easy. Well, you say super easy, but cutting up all the ingredients in the salad can be a pain, too, when you got a lot. <laughs> but I like a lot of ingredients in my salad, so they'll get the type of salad I eat. There go another big cannon. Soon as, cannon, soon as you think it's over, they like, nope. <laughs> we got one person. It seemed like it was like two of them out there before. Now I think it's just one person. Finally got fireworks going. That's Diane. I read that one. Nancy says they're slowing down. I guess they waited till the cops took a break. That's uh, Diane. <laughs> Jill says hi there. Or two and a half inch square. Or T R those two and a half. These are actually three inch squares that I'm gonna uh, trim down into rectangles and make them two and a half inches wide. So they'll finish at two by two and a half. And the reason for that is because some of these, like, they kind of a little bit short. So I'm just going to cut them down instead of not being not using them at all. I'm just going to cut the whole strip down. And then it'll line up with my block. I'm making some Friendship Star blocks as well. That's going to go down the side. So these are, this is a six inch finished block. So these sections are going to finish at two inches. So that's why I'm cutting these down to two inches they're going to be abutting these and I may put a, a strip set in there because I'm uh, two inches short of what I want the width to be so I'll put a strip and I'm going to make the strip probably blue
getting to the bottom of the stack. One more set of 25. I hate to do the tedious, boring stuff in front of you all, but it's got to be done, right? <laughs> uh, good night, Jackie. I see she's leaving. A uh, cool gal goes, no pound cake for the fourth? Nope. <laughs> no pound cake. They told me I didn't have to make it. I was like, thank you, Jesus. And then I'm now I'm glad because I wasn't even feeling under the weather when I um when they uh asked me what was I bringing. So I think my sister has made I think she made banana pudding and uh she also made I thought she said a peach cobbler. So and then they got plenty of fruit. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, cause she told me not to bring it. I said, I rolled off fruits that I like in my salad. And she said, yeah, we got all that. I'm like, okay, <laughs> make my job easier. So I bought just the more vegetables and stuff like that to put in the salad. So it's gonna be a good mixed salad. Uh, bring about three or four different kinds of dressing so people can put their own on there. And uh, probably put eggs in it too. Boil some eggs. I won't put the eggs in there. I'll let them keep them on the side. Eric, <laughs> uh, well, I don't plan on going out tonight. That's Eric. No pound cake from Eric. Nope. Gia, hi. Oh, so I read everybody's. <laughs> okay. Had people concerned about the pound cake. Yep. No pound cake. And I'm glad because I've been trying not to eat all the stuff, trying to lose a few pounds. So me not having to make the pound cake the last couple of events has been really nice. <laughs> I decided on popcorn. <laughs> Uh, Eric, don't, okay, don't judge me for this. And remember, I grew up in Hawaii, but I tried collard greens for the first time this week, and boy, was it good. Yep. Especially if the person know how to cook them. So, yep. Let's see if I can mix half of this under here, over here, and then on top, half of this. Just trying to mix them up just a little bit on the top. All right, I'm not trying to do a whole lot. Hi, gorgeous Rose. <laughs> uh, Becky, your comment stopped to Eric. How was that POI? I don't know what that is. Uh, June Hansen says, Nancy, glad you found her. Kim says, I'm going to make some deviled eggs tomorrow and some banana blueberry bread. Yes. Betsy made me bread, guys. <laughs> she made that recipe, and it was really good. My husband's, uh, I didn't realize that he could have the milk in from baked goods, that it doesn't affect him. So um, he has been making sandwiches for the last two days with that bread, Betsy. So thank you so much. It's really good. C Rex says good night, everybody. Good night. See you next time. Um, uh, Nancy says she loves all greens. I grew up in Illinois. <laughs> Betsy says yes, it is consistency of wall paper paste. Oh, when you're making it, okay. Oh, poi, pronounced like boy. 
but with the P. Imagine the taste of wall paste. That's po oh, that's what Betsy's talking about. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay, I got one here that I need to resew. <laughs> um, that I had put right side to a wrong side. That's not gonna work. Sometimes when I have scrappy quilts, I leave them, but I didn't want to this time. I normally don't take out my seams when I do that. I normally leave them. <laughs> and Betsy says, my pleasure, tea anytime. Yes, it was good. <laughs> So now I'm just going to start sewing these pairs into fours and then the fours into eights eventually. So that's where we are. That's where we'll be ending tonight anyway. Just trying to go down into the pile because I kind of got light things up on top until it switch. Tried to rearrange them a little bit, but I'm seeing the same thing anyway. I normally would have just put them in a bag or something, shook them up, and then just poured them out on my tabletop and start sewing. <laughs> Still popping fireworks back there, I hear. That's the same fabric. In these fours, I don't want to put the same fabric, even if they don't touch, just because I want to spread them out just a little before I get to that, because eventually I'm not going to care, and then they can be a, a fabric apart, but I don't want to start out that way. If I can help it. Good night, Diane. I think she said good night. See you next time, Diane. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Connie says, I made two apple pies, brownies, potato salad, veggie pizza, deviled eggs, taco salad. Kids bring in meat and fruit. That's awesome. And everything she said, I eat. <laughs> so you're making me hungry. So yeah, so eventually one of these days this will be put together. And it's uh, no rush on it, I guess. <laughs> but it will be the next quilt, I guess, that I complete. I need to just do the borders for the other two quilts. But this will be the next one in the rotation just to get it done. But And considering that I didn't have to start cutting a lot, I, I spent this morning propped up in bed just sorting the pieces that I could use. So It's amazing what you can make out of a bag of scraps. <laughs> I did not think I would have enough to do my rows, and I do. Weird. <laughs> Jill says, T, this is, is this quilt top going to be a flag? Um, it's going to be striped. So yes, in a way, but not like a traditional one. Because I'm not worried about the number of stripes. I'm just trying to make it a particular size. I'm going to actually have 30 stripes, 15 red, 15 white. And I plan to make 10, 10 of these. So that's what I have so far. That's my plan. <laughs> I have nothing but what I'm what what you see. I have this one block and these pairs. That's all I have. <laughs> I just started today. Okay, we've got all of these solids. 
let's go down here and get something different. So, <laughs> good night, Ray. He's saying good night. He says good night, everyone. Happy Fourth of July. Stay safe. How big are the squares of your red and white? They're gonna be. They're gonna finish two by two and a half. I have uh, pieces here that I'm going to be cutting. I have three inch squares that I'm starting with and I'm going to be cutting that into finish at two inches because I want it to match up to these blocks. So I'm just winging this. I'm just sewing. I kind of like when I can pull out something that's most of the cutting is done for me. I will just take one white fabric and just cut a strip. Because in the bag that I had, I didn't have a lot of prints in uh, white. In the, but I made all of the stars will have some kind of a print, light print. But I didn't have enough to make the 15 rows of white. So I'm just going to cut those. And this is going to be perfect because I can just cut strips and they're going to be the right length because I'll have 40 inches when I sew these together. So it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so just randomly sewing everything in a pair as long as the fabric isn't in the other pair. Until I get to the bottom and then we'll just do what we have to do, right? <laughs> These fabrics just really want to stick to each other. They want to stay friends. <laughs> time is it? Oh, I only got three minutes left on for the live portion. People are saying good night. Let's see. There's my brother. Uh, Nancy says, I love the Friendship Star Block. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, are you using scrappy whites? Nope. I think I just answered that. I didn't see your question. Nancy says, good night, everybody. Good night, Nancy. Connie says, oh, you just answered my question. <laughs> So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get off in a couple more minutes. I'll go ahead and sew a few more of these. We still got 76 people here. That's pretty cool. Thank you all for coming tonight on a holiday uh, weekend. I thought I was going to go out and see some fireworks display. Like, you know, I don't go to the actual place. What I do is I go like about five blocks away because you can see them go up <laughs> so I'm not in the traffic but I didn't even do that I was like nope this week I even made my uh had my husband do my tr uh, errands this week post office runs and stuff like that so I really didn't want to go out I don't know which stack these came out of. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as they're not the same, but this one is. So it probably came out of that stack. <laughs> so yeah, once I sew these into the full row, then I'm going to just cut it down to two and a half. Instead of me cutting each individual fabric square down, then I can just cut the whole strip. That's, that was my idea behind that. Evelyn French says, T just opened up my iPad and found you live. I'm here in California. I guess I will watch your replay. Happy 4th of July. Thank you, Evelyn. Yeah, because we only got really one minute, so I can stop sewing here. 
got another stack of stuff back here. So I'm just glad that I got enough that I don't have to cut any more red squares. So that's pretty cool. Um, Jill says, thank you at Tiffany Quilting Life. Uh, Angela says, nice friendship block. Have fun. Be safe. Good night. Good night, Angela. Thank you so much for the compliment and for watching, being with us here today. I appreciate that. And participating in the chat. That's really nice, too. Shawana Tillis says, another great evening with Quilting Friends. Enjoy the holiday. You, too. Thank you so much. And Jill Thomas says, stay, stay safe, everyone. Enjoy your festivities. So we're going to go ahead and end here. It is exactly 11 p.m. Um, everybody stay safe, be blessed, and quilt out. See you all on Tuesday Night Live. Hopefully I'll try to get another video uploaded for you guys too. I got about four or five videos that I've recorded like this year, I guess, that I have never even put out because of editing time. So maybe I'll uh, work on one of those. I got one spooling for you guys. So, And the one that I want to do is the last one I did, but I'm trying to do them in order since my videos are so behind. But see you all then. Take care, everybody. <laughs>